Hello guys, welcome to Spyro Tech 365. Today I'm going to show you how to create cinematic trailer title animation in After Effects. Ready to become a pro of cinematic title animation creation? This tutorial video has got you covered. We'll guide you through every step of the way and provide practical tips to help you achieve your goals. So, get ready to level up your skills and let's get started. I have already imported the project files. Now, create a new composition. Name it as Cinematic Trailer Animation. Set preset as HDTV 1080p frame rate, 29.97 set the time duration to 6 seconds. Press Ctrl plus T. I am typing the text as trailer. The font is used as Nix. Change font size to 160. Align the text to center. Go to effect and preset animation presets, text tracking drag and drop, decrease tracking to the text. Press U to display keyframes. Change value to 160. Drag this keyframe to end of the timeline. Right, click and create a new text. I am typing. The text is cinematic. Grab selection tool and pressing shift key place. The text right here. Now change the font type to Bank Gothic LTBT. Change font size to 110. Change the position of this text. Do as you like my do. Go 1 seconds in timeline. Press T to bring opacity. Click stopwatch icon. Change opacity value to 0. Now go up 1.25 seconds forward and change value to 100. OK. Now select both text layers, right? Click Pre-Compose, Mark Move, All Attributes and change name to text. Click OK. Take two duplicates of text layer. Hide, first text layer. Now, select second text layer and effects and presets search for fill effect. Add it to second text layer. Change color to black. Now, search for matte choker. Add it to second text layer. Change geometric softness, one value to two. Change iterations value to four. Now select these two layers, right, click pre-compose. Mark, move all attributes and change name of this composition. Hide text border and unhide text layer go to project panel and drag and drop reflection map to timeline. Press S to bring scale. I am changing scale value like this. I am placing the map right here. OK. Now, effect and preset search for motion tile. Drag and drop it to reflection map layer change output width to 200. Mark, mirror edges go 0 seconds in timeline. Click stopwatch icon in tile center. Now go to end of the timeline change the amount like this. Cool right click. Pre-compose change name of this. Mark move all attributes. Click OK. Change track matte alpha to text. Go to effect and preset. Change light, type to point light. Change ambient and diffuse value to 60 in shading option. Go to effect and preset search for CC, blob eyes. Edit to reflection map layer. Change blob layer to text comp 2. Change property to alpha. Change softness value. Change cutaway value to 3. Change light, type to point light, cool. Change the other parameters like my do.
Now, add a background video and change the opacity of this. Like I do. Now, add a tint effect and change the color of white value like my do. Now, add smoke, lens flare and light in the composition. Change the mode to add. Now, change the opacity of sound layer like this. Shift the layer like my do. Now, create a new camera and a null object. Parent the camera to light. Now animate the camera by null object like my do here. Change the speed of the position's value from graph editor like my do.
Now, add an adjustment layer and apply curve effect. Change the value of RED curve like my do. and a noise effect and change the value of noise to 3%. There we go. Okay, now our animation is ready. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative, entertaining, or whatever it is that you were looking for. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. We love hearing from our viewers, so please leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for future videos. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family if you think they would enjoy it too. Thanks again for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.